You're watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen. I am popping bubble wrap instead of twitching with my pen, I guess, because this has come out of the crate as they are unpacking the latest exhibit here at the Nanaimo Museum. It's To the Moon, Snoopy Soars with NASA, and we'll have more of that on this edition of The Daily. Pop, pop, pop. Can you see it? Can you hear it? What is it about bubble wrap? I don't know. Non-stop, gotta get every single bubble and that takes a long time, perfect for us OCD people. Gotta get every single, anyways, I'm getting distracted. Um, also in the lineup for the Daily Today Arts Now, Alexandria Stewart is here with another edition. We're gonna head over to Gabriola Island where a bow maker is gaining quite a reputation for the skill that he brings to his work. We're also going to check in with 14,000 luxurious square feet. It's a dream home in Burnaby. And Dan Kahn has some tips for you on how to get your abs ready for summer. In my case, I don't think that's ever going to quite happen. That's why I wear these shirts that go over the belt. And from what I hear, one of the contributors to ab flab is stress. So I think I'm doomed. I'll just keep talking my bubbles and I'll deal with it that way. Before we get to any of that, though, we're ties with nature from Derek Johnstone. Whether it's rain barrels or a complex cistern collection system for water, using rainwater for everyday use is easy on the aquifers and your budget. You are watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen, and we have a special treat. We are getting a true sneak peek at the latest exhibit at the Nanaimo Museum. To the Moon, Snoopy Soars with NASA opens June 2nd, runs through until Labor Day, and they're just unpacking the crates right now. And here to tell us about the exhibit, come on over. Amy Greenaway is the program coordinator. I felt like we were on the prices right or something. Come on up, baby. You're the next contestant. Snoopy. Source with NASA. Yes. What is the connection between Snoopy and NASA? A lot of people are surprised that there is a connection, but Snoopy is actually NASA's official safety mascot. Okay. Uh, when there was the first lunar landing in the 1960s, Snoopy's comic strip also landed on the moon. So Snoopy was on the moon at the same time as the astronauts. So there's a very strong connection there. And a couple of the glimpses that I've had at the things that are being uncrated as we speak, he, he's, he's like a certified astronaut almost, Snoopy. Absolutely. Yeah. He's got all the different artifacts in here. You'll see Snoopy's different spacesuits over time. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is an interactive exhibit. I think it's perfect for families because everybody has some interest on some level of the Peanuts comic strips or of any of the lunar explorations or the moon or space or, or astronauts and it all coming together in one place and it's hands-on? Absolutely. Too? There's lots of hands-on activities for children. There's spacesuits that they can try on. There's going to be a Snoopy doghouse that they can climb into and play inside of. There's, it'll teach them about different phases of the moon, so they'll learn a little bit about space while they're playing. In the summertime on Thursdays, we also have a program called Rocket Lab. So if you bring your family on Rocket Lab days, you can build your own straw rockets, have balloon rocket races, and lots of activities that, for the kids to do. That sounds awesome. I think my four and a half year old just went to heaven, <laughs> or at least to the moon, right? We've got some stuff unpacking. Let's have a little wander over here and see what we've got Rick uh, looking at here. Now, I'll try not to touch anything, but these are, fr where did this exhibit come from? It's come to Nanaimo from the Charles M. Schultz Museum in California. Okay. So the it focus is a little bit more on Snoopy than on space. Okay, and how do you pick an exhibit? How do you, know, why did you choose this one? This one was perfect because it's the summertime. Okay. So it, it's a fun theme, but there's still educational opportunities. And everyone can relate to Snoopy. Everyone yeah. remembers Snoopy. Young kids love cartoons, so you have that connection as well. So it's nice for different generations to come and see this exhibit. Cool. Thanks, Amy. We're going to come back later on this edition of The Daily. We'll get our hands on some of this interactive element to the exhibit. To the moon, Snoopy soars with NASA, runs here at the museum from June 2nd until Labor Day. We've got more to come on The Daily, including a tour of a dream home, 14,000 square feet of luxury in Burnaby. Before we do that, though, Melissa Hall's taking us over to Gabriola Island. There's a bow maker there who has been fine-tuning his craft for more than 30 years. Thank you. 
I'm on the moon. I did it. I'm the first beagle on the moon. I beat the Russians. I beat everybody. I even beat that stupid cat who lives next door. You're watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. And as you can see, these exhibit pieces aren't even unwrapped yet. We are getting a true sneak peek here at the Nanaimo Museum to the moon. Snoopy soars with NASA opens on June 2nd, runs through until Labor Day. And we're get, Amy, thank you for letting me sort of have a look at this stuff, even though it's still in the packages. You guys have to unwrap these and put them back in. That's right. You can see that all the bags are labeled. So when we unpackage them, we have to actually put them back into the same bag so that when they get shipped to the next place, the people in that museum can find everything. Wow, it's quite a, quite a process unpacking. So this looks like an old ad from a newspaper for a date on here somewhere. Oh. 1969, so right around the time of the lunar landing. Okay, and this is a little bit, Snoopy is the first to the moon, rough luck, NASA. So I guess Snoopy actually beat the astronauts onto the surface of the moon. I'll put this here very gently. What's this next one, Amy? Uh, this is a cartoon, and it shows Snoopy as the safety mascot for NASA, which he still is today. Um, one of the most coveted safety awards in NASA is called the Silver Snoopy, and it's oh. a small lapel pin that has gone to on a on a space mission, so. Oh, that's pretty, and it's signed here by Charles Schultz. Now, Snoopy came out in the 1940s, 50s? 1950s. And the moon, the, the mission that he went on was 1969. So he was about, a, he was a teenager. Snoopy was a teenager when he landed on the moon. I'm jealous. <laughs> I am determined, one day I will go to the moon, I tell ya. <laughs> It'll be possible, but I won't be able to afford it, I bet. So what's this headline? Snoopy's going to the moon. It was a big deal. Wow, and this is the date on this one. You're easier, quicker finding them than I am. 1969, June 1st. June 1st, wow. So all of this and a whole lot more will be up for you to enjoy with your family at the Nanaimo Museum from June 2nd through until Labor Day. It's called To the Moon, Snoopy Soars with NASA. Thank you, Amy. We've just touched the surface here. There's a, a lot of neat stuff in there still setting up. I love getting in behind the scenes and taking you along with us. Here now is Alexandria Stewart for an episode of Arts Now. Even up a little bit in here. This is actually a, a helmet. I don't want to take it off because it's so much fun. We're going through the exhibit to the moon. Snoopy soars with NASA that opens at the Nanaimo District Museum on June the 2nd, runs through until Labor Day. And I'm just going to keep this on because it's kind of fun. It is the end of an era, but maybe you won't be able to take it seriously. Maybe I should take it off there. Is that better? As we say goodbye to the end of an era, it is with Arts Now. Alexandria Stewart is moving on to some other things. Um, Arts Now is one of our longest running series on Shaw TV. It's close to my heart. I think it goes back to 2003. We're coming on almost 10 years, but it is coming to an end. But if you're an arts organization out there, do not worry about it. You can still send your information to artsnow at shaw.ca and uh, we'll feature you here on the daily or there is a brand new program that's going to run island wide called The Scene and it runs every other Thursday at, we've made the air times really simple for you to follow, at 6.30, 9 and 11 every other Thursday or every other Friday at noon and 3.30 and we'll have island uh, arts and entertainment features included in the island wide show the scene. So Alexandria, all I can say is thank you for doing everything that you did over the past five or six years. It was an honor and a pleasure to have you as a colleague on the channel. That is it for this edition of The Daily. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'm going to try to get that trip to the moon. It will happen before I die. Over and out.